Okay, so we're just going to do like a super quick round of fishing here. Wow, you have a rumble pack. Today you can feel the vibration, young man. Okay, listen up. Walk up to the water's edge and press Z to look at the look at a fish. While looking at a fish, you can cast your line with B. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> cast with B. Press A to break the line. When the lure drops into the water, you can wiggle it with the analog stick. If you're a novice, you can also use B. Reel in your lure with A. Hold down A and R to reel it in faster. If you feel a hit, press A and analog down to set the hook. Ugh. After that, reel it in with A. He's <laughs> just like, sure. Let's just go. I remember, like, when I got a, a, a rumble pack, it was like this off brand, I think it was Nyko or something like that. It was a memory card slash rumble pack. And it was on sale, and I was like super excited to use it. And it made like playing this game super fun, actually. And then like rumble packs are so. so a part of. Uh, if I remember, you can like roll it in slow. There's such a part of like games these days that you don't even think about it. <laughs> But it's crazy that at one point, games didn't have it. Nope. Where are you going? <laughs> well, well, well. It's about three pounds. You want to keep it? Sure. <laughs> Dude, I played this fishing game so much. This and like Sega Bass Fishing. I don't know why, but I freaking loved, loved playing them. I want to say that there's a super big fish in here somewhere too. It's like maybe towards the middle? You're not getting away, friend. Today is not your lucky day. Get in here. Four pounds. Oh, yes. Keep that one. Wait. Why does it feel like you keep throwing them back? <laughs> yeah, somewhere in here there's like a turbo large fish. Let's go here. Oh! Ah! <laughs> All these other fish are like, oh no, they got Harold! <laughs> oh, the fish that just swam away from us looks like it was one of the biggest ones over there. This looks like a tiny fish, too. Watch it be the biggest one. No, two pounds. It's like, watch it be like a ten pound fish. Okay. Alright. So, in my free time, I'll probably come back here and just screw around with this, because I freaking love the fishing game in this. And I'm actually, like, I wonder why they got rid of fishing games in the uh, Legend of Zelda games. Weigh my fish! Weighs four pounds. Not bad, but there are bigger fish in there. Okay, let's talk about something. Ah! <laughs> What do you want to know? Oh, what? Do you want to know some fishing secrets? I can't tell you any. They're company secrets, seriously. Uh, something about lures. Yeah, I think our biggest fish will just stay right there. Hey, hey, you can't take the rod out of here. When you quit fishing, return the rod to the counter. I'm serious. <laughs> I didn't even know that was that. Oh, I want to quit. Come back when you get older. The fish will be bigger, too. Well, maybe. Okay, that's what it was. I was like, I swear the fish were, like, way bigger at one point. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll definitely... We'll definitely hit up the fishing game again. 
And then like the scarecrow here, I want to say, like, maybe we come back when we're older. But like I thought we could just play. Oh. Oh. You know what I think it is? Oh well, I don't remember that song, baby. Why? That's what I can't tell you. Good golly. Alright, we're gonna do this twice. Because maybe... It's that we play this song for him now, and then when we come back... Uh, when we're older... They'll remember. Fantastic tune! It touches my heart! If you come up with a nice song, come back and let me hear it. Yeah, we'll just do that. <laughs> and then, uh... We'll get a surprise when we're older. Huh? What are you doing here? I'm a Zora. Have you seen anything strange in the lake? The river carries many things into this lake. I'm not gonna tell you. Okay, now we just have to find... Oh, there it is. So now we have to find how to go back to Zora's domain. So we ended up getting a new bottle, so we don't have to waste our ferry, which is good news. And then we can just grab one of these. What? <laughs> huh? Looks like there's something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Take the letter out of the bottle! <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, looks like we have to use the fairy. Okay, we got a fish in a bottle. <laughs> Now we just make our way back to Jabu Jabu. I'm gonna say, like, this is probably in my top three list of favorite, like, not favorite kind of, uh, dungeons to deal with. Okay. <laughs> that was not the play. I thought, uh,. I thought we just put it down right there. Maybe we stick it over here? Can't... Can't see what's going on. Ah! Fish! <laughs> thing took off. Good lord. <laughs> okay, well, rip us. Take as much as you want for 20 rupees. Want to play? Okay. Could you imagine leaping off of that thing? I would be terrified. I already don't like water. <laughs> yeah, like you jump off that thing, that's probably what, like a, at least a 50 foot cliff or something like that. A casual jump off of it, like nah. I'm good, fam. <laughs> yeah, so like somebody said, if you put, was it in the letter actually? I know it said like she's uh, she's trapped in Lord Jabu Jabu. Huh? Something's already inside this bottle. It's a letter. I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabba Jabba's father. Don't tell my father. I could swear somebody already told us how to talk to him. And it consisted of putting a fish in front of him. Right. 
What the heck? Oh my dear sweet Princess Rudo. Where's she going? I'm so worried. Maybe we gotta... Oh my god. What if we just have to show them this? Nope, that's not it. What? To hear the king's royal proclamations, stand on the platform and speak to him. Alright, let's go talk to these people again. One of them told us how to get Jabu Jabu to, like, do something. Or not Jabu Jabu, but King Sora. <laughs> Oh, the fish is for Jabu Jabu, that's right. But how do we get King Zora to do something? Um, maybe we... Okay, let's go back. Maybe we stand right next to him and try to show him the letter? Because he is not responding to us. We can try two things. Since we're right here, let's try targeting him and then pulling out the letter. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this letter. It's from Princess Rudo. Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Rudo. But since that stranger, Ganondorf, came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course you'll go find Rudo. You can pass through here, to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Rudo immediately. Zora! <laughs> Alright, we definitely wasted that fairy. <laughs> so you're gonna come back in about 30 minutes, I'll be out of the way. Oh my lanta. Why did they feel the need to show this to us? <laughs> like just just move them out of the way off screen. <laughs> Disturb Lord Jabu Jabu. <laughs> so I throw the pot at him. <laughs> He's perfect for breaking rocks. What can I or breaking pots? Say we should go explore first. I see a gold sculptula, but we don't have a way of like getting stuff that's high just yet. It seems Princess Rudo somehow got inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belt. Like we're we're all aware, Navi. Thank you. <laughs> More fish. There we are. So anytime there's a tree, just like randomly placed somewhere, so I feel like it's a good chance that it's uh it's uh, gonna have a gold sculpture in it. Oh, I was not expecting this whole wall to explode. Oh, hey. <laughs> I knew this was here. I actually don't remember what we're gonna get here. I would assume it's probably going to be like more magic or something. <laughs> Just hurry up and give us the gift! <laughs> Welcome, Wega. I'm the great fairy of magic, yeah, is what I figured. 
I'll give you a magic spell. Oh, it's a spell. Please take it. <laughs> Tip for Roar's win. You got Furore's Wind. This is a warp magic you can use. Warp when you're in danger. You'll teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you'll create a warp point. When you use the magic again, you can either dispel the warp point you created last, or warp to that point. Ah, uh, yes, this is nice. Remember, you can use Furore's Wind only in dungeons that have a dungeon map hidden inside. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> When battles made you weary, please come back to see me. That would have been super useful if it was like the magic mirror in uh, Link to the Past. I remember not really using Furore's Wind much as a kid, and like now I remember why. <laughs> this is not that useful. It's like, dude, let me teleport anywhere in the world. Well, now that's the good stuff. Okay. We definitely can't dive that deep. So let's just see what we got going on around here. I don't think we can... Oh, lord. <laughs> see, like, being in super deep water freaks me out. 100% freaks me out. So, like, I couldn't do this. I would not have a good time. It's like a flat, flat thing. Yeah, we don't have the Mask of Truth, so we can't do any of that. Might as well switch to... Oh! Switch to this. Jabu Jabu! Lunch time! Inside Jabu Jabu's belly. I like how we were able to swim around Jabu Jabu on the outside, like, really easily, and then all of a sudden... Alright. I don't know if we can hit these back. Yeah. I think we... Ah, Jesus. Oh my god, this is, whole thing is a nightmare right now, this stupid controller. <laughs> and we need a Deku shield in order to like take care of those stupid enemies. Pretty positive we were gonna get shocked. Like, I don't think you can just hit these things. Oh, come on. Stop it! <laughs> Give me first person mode, my lord. Yes, we need to like stand on that switch. Princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Letter in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. My father's worried about me. I don't care. Anyway, I can't go home right now. And you, get out of here, understand? How rude. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's like, oh darn. Ugh. Just leave her be. Are there like two gold sculptures back to back? 
They are. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly since I was a little, but Lord Jabu Jabu is very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish and strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was about. That's none of your business. Anyway, you, go home now, understand? You're that worried about me. Then I'll give you the honor of carrying me. However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You better believe me. <laughs> oh, gosh. See, like, this dungeon... On top of it just being this humongous maze. Like, this aspect of it was always annoying. Ah. I thought we could throw her... We could throw her and then it would, like, kill these things. Yeah, let's go. Uh, do we try to do stuff in here? Yeah, let's just go this way. Trying to figure out where to put her. Alright, we're missing something. We're just gonna have a, a bad old time in here. Okay, now we can't get her. <laughs> Oh man, we have to climb all the way back up here? Yep, I'm starting to remember! <laughs> this is also why, like, when Breath of the Wild came out, it was why I was so happy to play a Legend of Zelda game that didn't have dungeons in it. Ugh. Thing's gonna kill us. <laughs> yeah, like the dungeon formula, I just. <sighs> I feel like it. It kills the flow of the game. Alright, it's probably gonna start us all the way at the beginning. You know, before we do this. Oh no, we're. S no, we're not stuck. How did we leave and she's stuck in there? <laughs> Before we do this, I want to buy a Deku shield, because it's just not going to be fun without one. <laughs> Maybe the game will be kind to us. Oh. <laughs> it's like the game will be kind to us and give us the fairy over here. It's a big old no. <laughs> okay, let's equip our... Deku shield. Yeah, it's like this is gonna be just an awful time if we can't deflect uh, anything back at those. And it's like, it's crazy. I don't know if there's any other way to defeat those things without a Deku shield. Bouncing around in here, having a good old time. Alright, we don't know how to get rid of that just yet. Rudo... We saw her, like, run away. Is she, like, here? Okay. How inconsiderate. How did you leave me behind? If you're a man, act like one. Take responsibility. You take responsibility for yourself. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm pretty positive we can use her as a weapon. <laughs> All the bubbles are afraid. 
better be afraid. Okay. Let's put her down. Really? Where did Rudo go? Oh no. They don't tell me we have to go all the way back there. so much easier. to the other side, but we need freaking Rudo with us. Just sitting here. Come on. <laughs> right, we're just gonna kinda go around these things. No. Stay away. <laughs> Almost made it around him. Okay. Throw her up there. Get me out of the water! Oh, uh, okay. I was like, oh no. What do we have to do in here? I think we can do like... There we go. So I think we can use her to hit that. <laughs> Try to like maximize our time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Rudo, can you? <laughs> can you be useful? There we go. Good lord. No! Ah! Uh. That's so stupid. Okay, what do we got going on in this room? Ah, uh, platform. See, that's so stupid. So dumb. I was trying to pick her up and then open the door and then she. She gets teleported all the way back to the beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and actually put this in my number two spot for least favorite dungeons in this game. Like, the number one dungeon has the same theme as this one, and it's just easily the worst, the worst of the, the Zelda dungeons. Here we go again. <laughs> Get her up there. Hit the switch. This time we're just running through there. We're not throwing her. We're not fighting. We're just going. <laughs> uh, 
Watch me like accidentally throw her in the water. <laughs> it's like, come on! Alright, let's go. I think this is basically gonna take us back to that same room. Oh, no, no, no. This is gonna be like in the beginning area, right? Yes. But we can go the way behind us. We can go that way. Alright, so we'll wait for this thing to come back up. And we'll try to jump to the other side. Although, like, maybe we should go to the left? Yo! Can we make that? <laughs> this is a bad idea. <laughs> Hopefully we can get some hearts or something out of that those crates. I was like looking at that and I was like, you know, it's looking kind of far. I don't know if we're going to make it, but YOLO! Right, we did not get anything good. I'm trying to remember if in the beginning there was anything. We need some items. We need some items. Oh no! <laughs> it's like we're just gonna avoid stuff. Ah! How do we kill these things? Okay. Up! 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 Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> we got two fairies. So we just hit this thing multiple times. What the heck? <laughs> The way to kill them is like guaranteed death for us. Okay, so we can go that way or this way. Let's just go this way. Avoid that. Uh, can't go there. I don't remember if she stays put. Like, we leave her here. She's still going to be there when we come back out. Oh, you know what? We cannot deal with these until we get something else. Alright, come on. Big baby. You can't even take care of yourself. Crazy. I think this is probably going to be the same. Oh, no. The switch, it doesn't look like you can press it down with your weight alone. I know! <laughs> you literally see her on my shoulders. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. These controls are just insane in this game with this controller. Alright, so this is very much a doable room. You just have to have a little patience.
And then I think we get we get something that's actually gonna help us. Get out of there. Almost missed that. be it. <laughs> this better be it. Hey! You found the boomerang. Press C to use it to attack distant enemies. Yeah, so like, a lot of stuff we couldn't kill in here with anything that we had. We definitely need the stupid boomerang. You know what? We're actually gonna do slingshot and then boomerang. Where's Rudo? Watch out, Wega. Electricity's running through this red slimy thing. Yes. So much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many tries is this supposed to take? Alright, where did Rudo go? Oh my god, if she just went all the way back to the beginning... Because now... Uh, we can't do this without her. Which means we have to go try to find her stupid butt. <laughs> like, why would she not just be here? <sighs> oh, and of course they respawn. Why? Why? We're just going around. Yeah, I don't think Rudo is here anymore, so... We get to go fight up. Oh, there she is. Okay, your electricity is running through this green slimy thing. I know. <laughs> these things are trying to get us to fall down in these holes. Oh my gosh. I like, they were probably like in their development meetings for this game, like, how many jellyfish should we put in this room? And the, de and like the lead developer is probably like, yes. <laughs> so all the jellyfish? Yes. <laughs> all right, good gracious. All right, there's Rudo. Okay, we can't do anything with that, so let's grab her, go back. How inconsiderate, like, why would you come back here? Why would you come all the way back here? Right. That was close. I say all the way back there and it's like one room. <laughs> Now we can do this. Like when we were in here the first time, I was like, oh, okay. I remember the thing that we need. It's like the easiest fight. <laughs> you got the dungeon map. <laughs> it's like, nobody care about a dungeon map. <laughs>
<laughs> I like how we got the... I always feel like getting items in Legend of Zelda dungeons is like the best part of the Legend of Zelda dungeons. And then when you get uh, just stuff like compass or the map, it's just like... Mm, I don't think anybody cares about this. <laughs> The red slimy thing is gone. That must be because you cut the red tail. Will that work with the other ones too? Obviously. Right, let's put her a little bit in here. <laughs> I keep thinking that I have the boomerang on the other, other C button. We got it. I was like, what? You got the compass. <laughs> it's like all the major items were like right next to each other. Yeah. Thanks, game. <laughs> Alright, so there's one more section in here that we have... Or, two sections in here, actually. Really? Carnival. Circus. Uh... <laughs> Bruto is just, like, taking these things out. Okay, now we can go this way. Alright, we got another fight. Get down here. Show yourself! Oh. Lame. Okay, so we didn't get anything, but that should have cleared the way. The way? Probably the center. <laughs> it's either the center or we go back to the starting room. One of those two. <laughs> it's like, I have a good feeling it's the center. Take out the jellyfish first. Really? What are, you, what are you throwing that at, Link? <laughs> you better give me a heart or a fairy. Gave us neither. So now in that original room, uh, we should be able to go in there, and there should not be a little, like, dancing tail, or whatever. Uh, and then we can, I feel like we can probably drop down there. That's what we're meant to do. Yeah, so like, this one? I'm pretty sure we drop in. Difficult to aim the boomerang. <laughs> Just put a second one right next to it. Right. Oh man, like it's just so much farther over than you would think. Okay. 
we there was something like down there that we couldn't get into, but like I just don't feel like going down there and then having to find Rudo again and then trying to make our way back here. That's it. That's what I've been looking for. Throw me up there, onto the platform. <laughs> Princess Rudo got the spiritual stone, but why Princess Rudo? Oh my goodness, I finally found my mother's stone. I got very upset when Lord Jabu Jabu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me whole. I was so surprised I dropped it inside. But now that I've found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. So take me home, right now. <laughs> it's like, uh, you could try asking? Kia! What is this, an octopus? Oh boy. Oh boy. I think we run against this thing counterclockwise, and then like the... The octopus has like a little button on his butt, if I remember. Yeah, we just gotta catch up to it. Ah! <laughs> okay, just cut inside a little bit and then we can do it. Like if Navi would... What? <laughs> like as soon as we got close enough, it just like disappeared. Okay, just cut inside a little bit. Are you getting closer to it? I can't tell. There we go. <laughs> Alright, well, there's the strat. <laughs> it's a super painful fight. As soon as Navi decides to come out again. Ah! Dude! <laughs> it's like, it's so weird. It's, it takes her so long to come out, or like, be able to target him. I wonder, like, is there an easier way to do this? Can we, like... I need a bomb for him. Ah! He's right there! <laughs> Oh, he's just like... Right next to us. Could've just turned around and hit him, probably. Yo! <laughs> okay. Get it! Get up! Feels like he's going a little 
faster. There we go. Please be the- oh my lord. Let's see, are we still going? That was just like a mid-boss too, that's crazy. Oh no! No! The fairy! That's messed up. I totally wasn't expecting a fairy to be in there. <laughs> okay. Come back! Looking at this, oh, <laughs> so I'm not exactly seeing it. All right, so I think this is basically we've hit all the doors. Oh no, we need Rudo. So I think we need to use these and not break them. Yeah, I was like, dude, where is Rudo? <laughs> we have literally gone through every room in this dungeon two times over. Chilling right here. Oh, my goodness. All right, so I feel like we killed all the enemies in here. Oh, uh, where is this? Oh, okay. Just go up. <laughs> Just go. Let's go to first person. Oh, there we go. It's like, what are we looking for? Oh, man. All right, so <laughs> we've made it to the end of this. This nightmare. <laughs> Electric jellyfish. This reminds me of the uh, bioelectric in anemone baronade. This reminds me of the boss from Demon Souls, like the very first one that you fight. Ah, oh, jeez! We set it free! What have we done? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, I feel like we can just keep. Uh, oh no. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry, Link. Alright, that one was your fault. Baronade. Many parasitic jellyfish swarm around his monster. Aim for its body, protected by jellyfish. Nope. 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 <laughs> Stupid camera. <laughs> it's like, all we gotta do is keep moving. They say right as we walk into a hailstorm of electricity. Dude, that's like the easiest of these first bosses, too. Got a heart container. Six hearts now. Rudo's just chilling over here, angry. <laughs> you, you're late. What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. Yeah, I'm so glad that's over. <laughs> like, I just, I've never liked that dungeon. <laughs> Link's like, oh god, I'm gonna hide in the water. <laughs> Those eyes. You! You look cool. Cooler than I thought you would, anyway. Just a little. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. I want that spiritual stone. You mean the spiritual stone of water? Zora's sapphire? Don't you? My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man who would be my husband. You might call it Zora's engagement ring. Alright. I give you my most precious possession, Zora's sapphire. Oh no. There it is! Spiritual stone number three! You obtained Zora's sapphire. This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession? You don't know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to see Princess Zelda. Don't tell my father. <laughs> I feel like he's going to notice that it's missing one day. <laughs> Alright, so in the next one, we'll uh, go see Princess Zelda.